Today we're gonna talk about a very good add-on called Faceit. It is a tool that will help you create all sorts of complex facial expressions for any 3D character and non-destructive workflow, give you the ability to go back and forth through the pipeline without losing any of your changes and easily create adaptive facial shape keys that work in any character topology, whether it is realistic, stylized or cartoonish characters. Face it can save you a lot of time while automating the tedious process of rigging and animating facial expressions. What would normally take days you can now do in few minutes. The power of Faceit is versatile. You can do so many things simultaneously, such as rigging, animating and baking, in addition to the ability to going back and forth between stages without losing your work. Some of the major features of Faceit 2.0 include custom expressions. With it, you can load custom expression sets or use presets that are shipped with the add-on, and you can edit those to satisfy all your needs. You can also export, share, and reuse the custom expressions and presets in all of your projects. Smart Rigging Process Faceit offers an easy workflow for the rigging process as the add-on does the heavy lifting for you by generating a guide mesh called Landmarks and you can use it to manually adjust and fit any character and these guides will generate the rig for you automatically. Auto-generated expressions After applying the binding rig, the add-on can automatically generate all the 52 arcade shape keys. Also, it can generate tongue and phoneme expressions for animation and lip-syncing speech. Bake to shape keys the add-on also gives you the ability to bake all your changes, whether it is deformation from the modifier stack or poses and sculpt all into the final shape key, which is extremely helpful. It is non-destructive. The non-destructive element in the add-on refers to the ability to return to any point of the rigging process even after baking. For example, if you want to modify the landmark shape, you can definitely do it non-destructively. Now we're going to go through the workflow overview. First of all, registering geometry. First, select the face and click register face objects. In this step, you're going to assign each body part to its respective slot. You have two mandatory ones. The face has to be connected with preferably clean topology and eyeballs and everything else is optional, such as the iris, eyelashes, teeth, gum, tongue, etc. But if you have those body parts modeled, then you can assign each one to its respective slot. You can also assign a different vertex group in the edit mode. Creating landmarks. Landmarks are like a guide mesh that will drive the generation process of your armature. You need to outline the facial features like the mouth and the eyes, and the add-on will do the rest. You can manually edit each point separately to precisely outline the facial features like the eyes and the mouth. It is crucial to get these landmarks right because it is what drives the facial expressions ultimately. Auto-generate rigs. You can generate your armature automatically based on the landmarks positions. Click generate face rig for the bind operator that will bind the registered objects to the faceit armature. And note that the whole process is non-destructive so you can easily roll back to the landmarks process via back to the landmarks operator. Expression lists. To generate the arcade expression of your character, you can click and choose from the list. This will allow you to jump to the respective timeline keyframe position and start using your expressions. All expressions can be edited, adapted, or created from scratch by multiple methods, which are pose expressions, sculpt expressions, amplify expressions, mirror expressions, and reset expressions. You can also bake expressions to shape keys. You can bake all the deformation of face expression into individual shape keys. This will help you if you want to start the performance capture, create the control rig, or export it to a game engine. The whole process is non-destructive, so you can click back to rigging to roll back to any of the baking changes or even go further back to the landmarks. This is extremely helpful for fine-tuning your animation. Overall, Faceit is an awesome tool that will make your life easier if you are a 3D artist, game developer, or even just a hobbyist. If you work on animation and facial expressions every day, then you owe it to yourself to try this add-on. You can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.